We are gathered together in this extended period of darkness in our world to proclaim and receive in our hearts the good news of the coming of God's kingdom. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate with confidence and joy the birth of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, the light of the world. We pray that we may respond in penitence and faith to the glory of his kingdom, its works of justice and its promise of peace, its blessing and its hope. And as we seek to renew our allegiance to God's loving purpose, we pray for all who at this time especially need his pity and protection, the sick in body, mind or spirit, those who suffer from loss of dignity or loss of hope, those who face the future with fear or walk in the shadow of death. May God, of his grace and mercy, grant to all his people a new trust in his good providence and a new obedience to his sovereign word. For to him is most justly due all glory, honour, worship and praise, world without end. Amen.
God of Abraham and Sarah, and all the patriarchs of old, you are our Father too. Your love is revealed to us in Jesus Christ, Son of God and Son of David. Help us in preparing to celebrate his birth, to make our hearts ready for your Holy Spirit, to make his home among us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who is coming into the world. Amen. The Collect for Advent Sunday. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and there was evening, and there was morning the first day. Light and darkness were the first to be set things to be set in place in this Genesis creation narrative. That shows how important they are to God and to us. It would seem, both from this Genesis passage and from our own experience of life, that light and darkness come hand in hand. In the midst of the, dark, of the blackest darkness shines through the brightest of lights. As we start this holy season of preparation and waiting, in the midst of such uncertainty and anxiety, the light of the Incarnation shines like a beacon across our world. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus.
people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Like the people of Israel, we walk in a land of deep darkness. But like them, we are sustained and encouraged by a well-known prophecy We know of the Messiah, of the hope and salvation he brings to all people. Yet sometimes we live our lives like there is no hope, like there is no salvation. This Advent, we pray that we will remember again the awesome scale of redemption offered by our Messiah, Jesus Christ. He is the light of the world, not just the church. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus.
For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and people loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. Why is it that we sometimes choose to inhabit the darkness? We know the light is there, yet so often we choose to dwell in the shadows. Maybe it's because we know we're not perfect and we don't want to be found out. But God's grace is so vast and intense that it can bring light to even our darkest shadows. In the face of God's compassion, all of our darkness will melt away. In this time of relative calm before the business of Christmas, let us not hold ourselves back from God. Let's be honest about our failings and let God's mercy illuminate our lives. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus.
Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.